Hello folks, welcome back to the channel and welcome to uh, London Heathrow. Um, today we are here with the uh, Qatar 777, however, today we're not going on a, a flight. Uh, instead we will talk about settings a little bit and uh, background is I am getting uh, loads of questions on my uh, sim settings and um, related uh, sort of settings regarding add-ons and stuff like this. and usually i feel it's quite hard to answer these questions in a good way because every system is different um, everybody wants to achieve different things with their simulators so um, instead of just answering on all these questions separately i feel like it's it's better to just make a short video about it not necessarily to show you which are the best settings because once again best settings may dif may differ between best settings for me and best settings for you uh, instead i want to show you how i handle my settings what i do in order to arrive at my settings which i'm running at the moment and um, hopefully this is going to help you out a little bit in in doing the same procedures um, for your sim right so before we actually talk about the settings of course we need to start with hardware uh, this is of course very crucial for uh, arriving at, at good settings so uh, i am running and um, NVIDIA RTX 4070 Super with 12 gigabytes of VRAM. I am running a Intel i9 9900K CPU on an ASUS ROG Strix H370F Gaming. I am running 32 gigabytes of RAM, although they are fairly slow. And I run my sim on a 32 inch Ultra HD, so that's a 4K curved monitor at 60 Hz. So the the hardware geeks among you will immediately spot that my weak point in my system is definitely the CPU and also a little bit in combination with the with the main board, while the, um, the graphic card is actually quite a quite a modern one, quite a good one. Now this means that the FPS which I can get in the sim are typically limited by my CPU, and if you want to find out which component is limiting your FPS, I very much recommend you do the following. So when you are in the sim, you switch over to general options, you enable the developers mode right here, then you go to debug and display FPS and then you can, uh, actually you don't need to save, but you can uh, still go back straight away. So once you have the FPS panel open in your sim, um, you're going to see lots of information on here. Um, the most important one is, well, actually how many frames you can get. So right now I can get just about 30 frames per second. And this is with no um, frame rate limiter running. So this is actually open-ended. So the computer is trying to, to put in everything it has. And you can see it's just about 30 FPS. Now the main information here is that it's limited by main thread. Um, this means that it's essentially limited by your CPU. If it were to be limited by the GPU, then I think this would actually read limited by GPU instead. But what's happening here is, so my, um, my system takes around 33 milliseconds to create a new frame. And this is pretty much also what the main thread uh, needs to generate a new frame. The GPU instead can actually go quite a bit faster, it only needs 19 to 20 milliseconds to create a new frame. So this again confirms that my main thread, in, or rather my CPU actually, is the limiting factor here in my uh, in my sim. Also quite interesting is to look at GPU memory. So right now I have 8.9 gigabytes of VRAM use out of um, yeah roughly 10, which seems to be um, available uh, to my sim. And this is um, yeah I have AI traffic running. You can see actually in the background there's some pushback happening. Um, so this is with AI traffic running and of course uh, London Heathrow being a fairly uh, busy airport with uh, lots of scenery and stuff like this. Um, now before we jump into the actual settings, I want to highlight a few add-ons which I'm using as well. So number one is traffic of course. Um, I'm using the FSLTL um, for AI traffic and I also use the um, sort of the same uh, aircrafts for model matching when I'm flying online on Vetsim. And this is of course a big CPU killer. So if you want to achieve more frames, especially if you are CPU limited, it is recommended to actually uh, kick out 
um, the AI traffic, which I'm doing right now, and you can see, so from the um, 35 seconds, uh, which it needs to generate a frame, let's see where it goes. So I'm stopping the traffic. All right, so it goes below 30. It actually gave me like five to six more FPS. And now you can see my CPU is actually no longer, or it's still the limiting part, but it's not, not too much of a difference to, to the GPU. Um, also, what I do want to highlight is I am using the small little tool called Auto FPS, which is a brilliant tool. I recommend this uh, for pretty much everyone to use. Uh, and what this does is it actually measures your um, terrain level of detail and your object level of detail during the flight. So you will no longer need to be worrying about these two settings in the Microsoft Flight Sim settings menu. Um, so I have a set to 30 and this is because usually I actually limit my frames to 30 FPS and we will talk about this a little bit more when uh, when we look into the NVIDIA control panel. Um, so what you can do here is you can um, insert uh, where your level of details want to be. Of course being at the ground or at the airport you want your object level of details to be higher while you don't need as much terrain level of detail. Um, so object level of detail at base is 100, so it will not go below 100. And once we climb up into flight level, this will actually decrease down to 30. And it's quite the opposite with the terrain level of detail. Right now at the ground it's 50, and if I climb up to uh, cruise level, it will actually increase to 200. Um, you could even, I mean on an area like this, where we don't see any terrain around, this can even go lower you can put like 20 or 30 but I feel like if you have a couple of mountains around and you actually want to see a little bit of terrain while being at the airport um, maybe 50 is, uh, is quite a good compromise um, right so this is a really handy freeware tool which I recommend uh, really for everyone to use and play around with the settings see like what you like um, I think terrain level of detail actually goes up to 400 in this sim but I feel like 200 is giving really good well values already Right, so that's that. Now, um, as a next step, we will actually look into the settings itself. So going over to general options. So you can see I'm running, um, yeah, at, at 4K, I'm using TAA, uh, temporal anti-aliasing. It sort of gives the best clarity um, for the displays especially. Uh, I have frame generation off and this is actually the main or that's very important actually I have frame generation off because on actually uses a lot of VRAM I don't have a whole lot of VRAM I have a 12 gigabyte VRAM uh, graphic card it's a very good graphic card uh, itself but the VRAM is limited I would say if you want to run Microsoft Flight Sim 12 is actually kind of the minimum you want to have everything below this really becomes a struggle uh, to get your settings right. And frame generation does use a lot of VRAM, so I'd rather have it off, and therefore I can run slightly higher texture resolution. Um, I have VSync off because I actually have it enabled in the NVIDIA control panel, so it's off in here, but for what you see on the screen, it is actually enabled. And um, yeah, terrain level of detail and object level of detail, as I said, it's managed by the tool, so I don't touch these. Uh, for all the other settings, I have them in a mixture between high and medium. Uh, for those things which I don't really care too much about, I have them on medium because trees, I mostly do IFR flying. So if I were to do VFR flying, I would dial it up. But for IFR flying, I mean, how, how close are you going to get to trees? Hopefully not that close <laughs> unless you're running some really bad uh, failures or something. Um, Right, other than that, there's not too much to say. Important uh, is the texture resolution, which I am running at high. Um, with frame generation on, I can only run it at medium. I have actually not tried it recently to run it at ultra. Maybe I need to go to give it another try to see if this works on my system, but uh, I feel like high is a pretty good compromise. Um, Anti-stropic filtering, I have off because I have it enabled in NVIDIA control panel. And yeah, the other settings I've really just what they are. I, I mean, it's. I, I feel like in terms of performance, the other settings are not really so crucial. Um, 
so yeah i i feel like everyone should just uh uh, pick them as as desired really right so last but not least there's uh two more things which i want to talk about number one is the nvidia control panel which i sure all you guys with nvidia graphic cards uh, will know for sure um sorry about this this is all in german but i think if you if you look like for the same values in your system even if it's in a different language you will be able to to find them so anti-strobe filtering is is styled on here because it's off in the microsoft lights menu and um, now I, I actually can't say too much about those settings um, since I feel like I'm, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone explaining them. So I will stick to the very basic ones, which are essentially vertical sync I have on and um, the frame rate limiter. So I've mentioned in the beginning that I sometimes limit it to 30 FPS. And I do that because even without the frame rate limiter, I am not able to run it much higher than 30 FPS anyway. And by doing that, so let's put this to 30. I will actually, I'm not sure if it works right now because my sim is running. Actually, I would be surprised if it does work. Yeah, it feels like it's not limiting it right now. But anyhow, uh, it's not too important to make the point because there is a, this handy little tool, which is uh, lossless scaling. And uh, this is a payware tool, but it's just around like five bucks. And um, it's been sort of on YouTube a lot lately, um, since it's now offering a frame generation mode. And this is kind of cool because by limiting my frame rates to 30, I am able to run a steady 30 in most situations. And then by using the times two mode, I can actually upscale my frames to 60 FPS. Now it's actually a bit hard to record this. I have not yet found a way to make OBS record the upscaled uh, frames as well. But it is really nice because then I can, I have limited my frames in the sim, which uh, are running steady at 30, which my system can achieve in most situations. And then by using this one, I can actually see 60 frames uh, on my screen, which is also my maximum screen um, frequency, which I anyway could use. So that's uh, that's really nice. Um, I have to mention, I don't use it all the time um, since it does introduce a little bit of um, screen tearing and uh, sometimes it, it, it bugs up and then I'm not able to click the screen any longer and this is really annoying. So sometimes for me, I really just stick to my 30 FPS and then it's fine and it's 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 a smooth experience. There's no trouble with running it at uh, 30 FPS. So you can see even now running 30, yeah, this is essentially 30, right? 33 something panning around. Oh, it really drops panning around. And that's of course, then my main thread turns red and that's my CPU and not able, able to deliver more FPS. Um, but yeah, so that's that's how I handle it. And uh, I, I'd really recommend for all of you guys to open this um, FPS panel and see what's actually limiting your frames and then find settings um, which, which allow your sim to run at a fairly steady rate, which is uh, pleasing to the eye um, and, and which you feel happy with. Well, and then last but not least, I should also mention, I'm not running any add-ons on top of that. Of course, I'm using GSX, um, that's for sure. But other than, than traffic and GSX, there's really no add-ons I'm running for the sim itself. I don't have any additional weather add-ons or uh, I don't know, what is there? Any tr sort of special traffic add-ons. I don't run any, um, any game filters as well. Um, so this is... I, I try to keep the sim actually as plain as possible. I'm not a huge fan of adding 1 million add-ons uh, to just tweak uh, tiny visual elements in the sim. Um, and I think that's this is also positive for the CPU. I think running too many stuff in the background is, is kind of hurting the CPU as well. Uh, so I'd rather stick to a rather plain sim and uh, have, a, have a steady FPS rate which is uh, p pleasing to the eye and at the same time I'm able to run it at 4k which is uh, very important to me and um, yeah so I, I hope guys this video helped you a little bit in uh, sort of determining your own desired uh, settings and uh, to actually troubleshoot where your FPS uh, limitations are coming from in this kind of stuff 
And uh, yeah, feel free to uh, drop some comments down below um, if you have any sort of ideas or recommendations uh, which you feel like I should be trying. Um, I would be very curious to read up on those. And uh, other than that, thanks for tuning in and I will see you on the next flight. Take care. Bye bye.